Welcome to my front porch garden. This is going to be a quick video of my first attempt at composting. I took this really nice, beautiful craftsman tub and drilled holes all in it. So yeah, I took this really nice craftsman tub and just drilled holes all in it for ventilation. hope you can see the holes. And I've looked at a bunch of videos, and this is my first attempt at composting. I'll show you my holes on all my sides. This is a Craftsman 10 dollars 10 10-gallon um, tub. Got holes in the bottom and everything. So hopefully it will do the trick. Now, according to some people, you should layer your browns and your greens. And what are browns? Well, I figured out that browns are paper, cardboard, um, wood, dirt, and your greens are uh, fresh, um, like trimmings off your plants, food scraps. That's what I'm putting in here. And you shouldn't, if you're doing it for some I was advised by several videos that you should not put dairy or animal fats or oils in this tub because it will attract vermin. And since I live in the city, I don't want to attract vermin. So I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, so right here I have a bunch of dirt. It's actually, I cut one of my tomato plants up and... I have that in a bag over here, bag right there, the twigs. And then I have paper cardboard. I have some coffee grinds here. I have some f food waste here, including some paper towels and coffee grinds. And I have some tomatoes that just, they look, they look great on picture, but they are bad. They're all very sour and everything. So I'm going to add that, and I'm going to add this carrot. Now I know they said chop this stuff up. I don't have time right now, so we're going to do this, and I'll show you how. Put in your dirt, put your paper and your cardboard in. Your paper should not have a glaze, so you can use, like, newspapers and everything, but you can't use magazines because it has a glaze on it, so that, that won't be easy to break down. And I'm going to put a little water in here. Just a little and then we repeat the process put some more scraps in there more dirt a little bit of water okay more paper More food scraps. Ew, ew, ew. The nasty, smelly, awful. We got these things. And then we'll put in some more dirt. And we put in some more paper. That's really wet paper. And then we're going to put another handful of this paper in. And then we get out of greens. We use a lot of greens. So that I uh, hear the, the ratio is two parts brown and one part green. So I'm going to put some more brown in here. It's a little brown. And then I have to cover it with like two inches of really good dirt. And then to wet it down. I put some more dirt on top. And now I'm going to. Give it one more spray, and I understand that when you wet this, it's only supposed to be damp, but, but not saturated. So I watered every layer. I have plenty of drainage holes in the bottom in case anything happens, and I put too much water and it can drain out. And for extra good measure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rub the outside of the container with peppermint oil. Just in case a little rodent gets a little nosy. And uh, peppermint oil is a smell I don't like. So I'll, that'll keep them away. Alright. This is my front porch garden. My attempt at composting. Wish me luck. I'm going to turn it in a week. 10 days to see what happens. Turn it. 
and then uh, it's light enough that I can pick it up and I have um, think tools that I can use to turn it with anyway coming to you from my front porch have a wonderful day goodbye here's the finished product it's just I locked it up it's on my front porch I forgot to show you that all right see you later goodbye